Dante here. I'm making a cheers to everybody in the 2023 New Year's. And of course, we are doing a vision board, but I had to cheers first because it's 2023. If you're not about your goals or your money this year, like, I don't know what you're doing, but that's not what I'm doing. I'm trying to focus, be grateful, show grace. Express gratitude and most importantly, have a better relationship with God and just blossom into the person I know I can become. So right now you just see me making my vision board and this is something I encourage everyone to do this year is sit down with yourself and just map out your year. It doesn't really have to be on a vision board. If you want to get a journal, if you want to make a voice note, if you want to make notes every day in your phone do that but I definitely chose to see something visual every day that will remind me to keep myself grounded head in the clouds with feet on the ground so this is just my video of me making my vision board so it's about 17 minutes um, over the next 17 minutes, I guess I can talk to you guys about where I have been, what I want to see from my channel, and eventually you will see me reveal my vision board. But let's just get into it. So right now you just see me basically looking at some of the pieces that I've cut up, some words, some places I want to go, some quotes, just goals and ambitions that I have this year for myself um and honestly I'm not a very consistent person on social media which I'm trying to learn how to be more consistent because one like let's be for real we are the first generation to be on social media where we can literally replay our lives not only doing that but we get to connect with people different audiences you know, you could literally build a brand overnight. But most importantly, you can monetize what you do, like what you put online. I don't know what I was trying to say, but yeah, you can monetize yourself. And that's one of my goals for 2023 is to be more consistent with my YouTube, be more consistent with videos, just overall being more intentional and consistent with my time and ambitions. So yeah right now I just grabbed something off the printer and I'm going to cut that up eventually and put that on my board and y'all I love this onesie that I have on I ordered it um like two years ago when I had a photo shoot for my birthday but it never came until like a couple of months later so I just wore it um and yeah I um just highly encourage everybody to get on their grind and get on their grizzly and just put their best foot forward and put as much effort as they can into following their dreams, following their goals, and just knowing that the outcome is always going to be what you least suspect it to be. It may be more or it may be less, um, but just know that God has you. He sees you. He wants you to grow. He wants you to continue in the path that he has set and created for you. He knows that you're a light. And just continue to grow and be great. Um, I want to thank everybody that has followed me before on my YouTube journey. And now that I'm starting again, I hope that more people connect and follow me. And just help me along this journey and this ride that I'm about to go on. Because... Yeah, I went to school, I graduated school, this year will be five years since I graduated from college, and I realized that I was doing myself a disservice by not continuing to live my dreams, even though other things have stopped me for a certain time period, but I realized that it's just time to do what I need to do, and honestly, me creating this vision board really helps me to visualize everything that I see for myself and what I want, where I want to be, who I want to be, 
how I'm showing up as her. And, you know, I want some people to honestly grow with me on this journey. Everybody can't come, but hopefully the people that I love will come. They will show up. They will support. And, um, yeah, just remember that life is very temporary. We never know when something will switch up or change. Um, tomorrow is not promised. So this is the main reason why I'm starting to do content again and just be overall more consistent with posting on social media. And yeah, a lot of people most of the times ask me like, why don't you pose? Why don't you do this? Why don't you do that? Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna be for real, like be for real. (laughs) Um, I'm just not a big person on sharing my life. I'm a very... I'm not closed off, but I'm a very intentional person. I'm also very, like, I like to keep my space sacred, if that makes sense. Like, I don't let everybody just into my world. You have to be very special. I feel like every person has unique qualities and different things about themselves that everybody should not experience. But I realize that God has made a path for me. He has made a purpose for me. And I know that when I wake up sometimes in the morning, I all, I always am thinking about my goals. But I'm always thinking about content creation and how I want to, you know, express myself to the world. And I think it's just time for people to see, like, everything that I want to do. And what better way to document that by, you know putting a video out every week so I'm doing this video first because eventually I will have videos where I won't be doing voiceovers but at the same time um this is just a reintroduction back into YouTube so I just wanted you guys to hear my voice and not really hear me talk my next video probably will be a chit chat get ready with me Or just why I left YouTube video. Um, But yeah, I think that is very important to just go after everything that you want. And I have a code that I live by. It's called the four G's of life. Um, And I think that everyone could use a code or a rubric or a style of life that they live by. Because sometimes us as humans, we walk with other humans and you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to walk with God you're supposed to walk with faith and not sight some things you can't see some things you can't see but especially being young young black woman living in an inner city like sometimes things get hard but you just have to keep going so this is the reason why I'm starting my YouTube again I want to show the young kids the young women the young men and Everybody that tunes into my channel that, like, your goals are achievable. You have an astronomical amount of abilities that God has programmed into you. And it's okay if you feel like everyone is doing something. Because literally everyone is doing something. But what's the difference between them and you is it's you. That's it. It's that simple. Like, you know, I always try to tell people, like, you know... Somebody could give you the recipe, but guess what? The sauce definitely going to taste different, baby. The sauce is always going to taste different. You know, the vibe going to always be different. The energy going to always be different. The frequency going to always be different. No matter what a person possesses over you or what they don't have, it's just going to be different. And um, I think that it's just time for everyone to figure out what they want for themselves, where they see themselves, and, excuse me, just live out their best, their best years that they have. So, I am just excited to see where 2023 will take me, how far I can go, what I can do. Um, I'm just really excited. I definitely want to get more into content creating and... Just everything that I envisioned for myself, I want it to happen this year. And I know it will happen this year because I'm going to put in the work. I'm going to do what I got to do. And everything else is going to 
just fall into place once I do what I need to do. So I think that it's important to just live in your truth and don't let anyone stop you, no matter how much they mean to you or your relationship or whatever the case may be. I think that it's very important for young women, especially young black women, to have the ultimate belief, faith, and confidence in themselves, but also with God and just know that he's leading you, he's guiding you, he's preparing you for your dreams. And to just always remember that the ball is in your court as long as you keep your momentum up, you keep your mindset focused on what you really want for yourself. Anything is possible. You can achieve anything. And yeah, I just want, I want black women to win this year. I want all women to win, but of course I want my beautiful black women to win. I feel like it's just an era of greatness that is among us. I think that we deserve to be seen as the beautiful people that we are. We deserve respect from not only ourselves, but the black men in our lives. And it's just time to, like, grow and expand and no room for stagnicity, no room for excuses, no room for hatred, no room for anything. So I think that is very important that we all continue to grow. We all continue to motivate and push each other because that's what I'm on. I don't know what everybody else is on, but that's what I'm on for my 2023. And I just feel like. You know, everything is possible within due time. And I pray and hope that this video inspires someone to go and make a vision board again or journal or make notes to themselves. But just start with something. It could be something small, just like something small so you can release your emotions and your thoughts and feelings. I feel like sometimes we don't have people to talk to or if we do have people to talk to, we don't express ourselves fully to the point where they can understand everything. So sometimes people may not understand. Like you just have to sit there and talk with yourself through things and just know that whether it's good or bad that you know it's a lesson in whatever whatever you're experiencing. And just know that um, God has a plan. Like, I've been more connected to God in the past couple of years that I've been alive than it, it's it's been crazy. I don't even know what I was just trying to say. But, yeah, I've been going through some personal things for a couple of years. And that's why I honestly have stopped making YouTube. But I just feel like it's my... One of my purposes, one of my duties, one of my goals to be a content creator and just connect with people and help them find their purpose and help them grow. And if money or recognition or anything never comes for this, at least I have some way to track my life and to see myself grow as a woman, to grow as a black woman, to grow as a human being and I'm just ready to do what I need to do to get myself to where I want to be. And I want everybody to just have a great 2023, you know, figure out that code. I feel like it's very important, like having a code, having like something that you stand on is very important. My code, I don't know. I say the four G's of life, but I never explained it. Basically, the four G's of life are God, grace, gratitude and growth. If I am doing something and those four factors are not in it, I don't want it. Like, I want God to be in everything that I do because I need him in every season, every reason, every time. I need him. Grace, you got to give yourself grace. You got to give other people grace. You just never know what another person is experiencing or what they're going through or how they're feeling or how they're processing things. And of course, you got to give yourself grace because sometimes we are very, very hard on ourselves. And I know I have been very hard on myself for a very long time. Um, but yeah, gratitude, because you have to think, think about like someone is wishing to be in your position. 
always there's always someone that's wishing to be in a position that you are in or one you have been in and yeah you just have to be thankful for the little things in life and be appreciative of what space you're in now and just know that you will grow and you'll surpass your wildest dreams and god grace gratitude and of course the last one is growth I always want to grow. I always want to expand my mind, expand my horizons. I always want to be able to see, surpass what I see for myself. I always want to just grow and just blossom and bloom into something beautiful. And yeah, I think that it's just time for everybody to do what they want to do this year. We're young. Um, Time waits for no one, but just know that there's a plan for each and every one of us no matter if we discover it at 20 or 60 there's there's a plan and I just want to encourage everyone again connect with themselves love on themselves and be happy with themselves um and be around good energy be around positive people be around love be around light and yeah it's 2023 y'all let's let's do some shit you know let's shake the table let's shake the room but this was my video hopefully you guys enjoyed it and you'll see me next time